Morning everyone. So I just finished my workout and I'm gonna make a protein shake. And while I do that, I thought I'll just update you guys on how I am and um, some of the changes I've experienced. So I'm two weeks into the no moisture treatment now. I experienced this major change. At the start of TSW, I could not bleed, meaning I would scratch my skin off and I wouldn't bleed. It would be just really weepy with the plasma, which is like a yellowish um, liquid. Um, but it was like my veins were gone. I could not bleed whatsoever. But recently, when I scratch in the middle of the night, I shouldn't be doing it, but I do sometimes, um, I wake up and I see blood on my bandages. So that's a big change I've experienced. To be honest, I don't know how that works, like why you don't bleed and like all of that. Um, I think it's improvement. Another thing is I could not sweat at the beginning. I still don't kind of, but um, after a workout, I started sweating a little bit on my nose, like on top of my nose. Everywhere else, I still don't sweat. I think my pores are blocked or something. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. I should look that up and let you guys know, but um, I can sweat now, like from my nose. So that's a big improvement as well. And my eyebrows have gotten so much lighter. But it's okay. I should make my protein. So something I've been keeping in mind is that because this is a long game, um, I try not to be attached with like, every single little progress or re regress because what may have gone well the first day may regress the second day and I don't want to like be emotionally affected by it. So even if something goes bad or even good, I just let it flow, just go get on with my day. It's just part of the progress. So yeah, I think that's a big thing um, because you don't want to be emotionally trained all the time. It's a long game, just chill and let it do its thing. So that's my number one tip and trust the process because I know that I'll get through this and I know that it's going to work and it, it is working and I'm healing. Sometimes I look back at my photos of before TSW and I've got like clear skin, I'm living my life, I've got makeup on and like I miss it sometimes but I know that inside was not healthy like I was eating so much junk and um, just slapping steroids on and I know that I'm much healthier now from the inside so it's going to be worth this whole crazy ride. You know how when you pour milk and it like blops and like splashes onto you, turn it this way and put it in like this and it, it doesn't splash. I just went grocery shopping and I asked him to get me this sugar-free brownie mix. I'm so excited to try them. Um, they're by No Shoe. I think they're an Australian company.
So it's Saturday, and me and my boyfriend decided to go watch a movie. I put on my favourite trench coat and some jewellery. So whenever I go outside, I wear my face mask and my cap. It just makes it a little bit easier to go outside. Good morning, um, so today is 20th day into no moist treatment and my arms have been flaky which is good, it means it's healing and um, the bandage seems to be working at night so I don't wake up with um, raw weepy skin anymore. So it, like, it gets the time to heal overnight, which is great. Um, yeah, my face has been all right. The forehead's been less flaky. My eyebrows have fallen out a lot, but it's all right, not too worried. They're gonna come back. And my lower face is still flaky and some bits are a bit weepy this morning was a bit weepy and over here as well so yesterday i went to watch a movie it was nice to be out again mentally i've been really really good um i'm feeling happy and feeling really positive about this and i can't wait to see pro my progress um i think having my little community on Instagram and TikTok has helped me heaps. Um, I get lots of warm comments and messages daily um, supporting with supportive comments and it's really really heartwarming to read them and yeah I think that that plays a big part um, on my mental health and having and also having my partner and my family support me as well really helps mentally so yeah i've been really happy doing well good morning it's been just over 20 days since starting the no moisture treatment i'm a bit weak baby anyway um it's 11 30 and i woke up like half an hour ago the reason being that last night i slept at 5 a.m i went to bed at 11 30-ish and um, the past few nights I've been struggling to fall asleep before TSW I could just fall asleep anywhere in seconds but since starting it um, I've been struggling to sleep and yep yeah, so yesterday I was really really itchy um, I've never been this itchy starting my bone moisture treatment so um, it could be that I showered the day before um, or my period because it started yesterday so yeah I was really moody yesterday I nearly cried because of a fly that came in so I was that moody it's lunchtime now and I like I haven't done my workout yet so I'm just gonna quickly do that oh yeah yesterday I noticed that so every day every morning I do a different workout I just choose a random one on YouTube the one like I feel like doing and the one I picked yesterday ended up being one that I've done before when I first started exercising. And when I did it the first time at the beginning, it was really, really hardcore and like it hurt so much. But yesterday um, when I did it, I didn't feel like it was that hard. So it was nice to see improvement. So that was really cool. So I'm, I'm gonna do the same one today. I really enjoyed it yesterday. So. I'm gonna do that um, yeah but exercising really brings my mood up and it's part of my routine now so it's good just a tip for you guys when you're doing um, a workout choose the ones that will bring your heart rate up because um, the whole point of exercising during um, no moisture treatment is to get the blood flowing so yeah so my arms have been pretty weepy the past couple of weeks and I was getting used to it and now my face is starting to be weepy 
which I'm not enjoying at all. It gets really itchy sometimes, um, especially at night. And my eye, my eyelid was itchy and I rubbed it a little bit last night and then it got weepy as well. That's why it's swollen. Doesn't hurt or anything. I'm used to the tightness and the dryness now. Yeah, I'm just getting a bit of vitamin D outside on my balcony. And my period started last yesterday, so I'll see how that affects TSW. boyfriend's gonna wash my hair for the first time in over two weeks so first time washing hair since starting the no more treatment oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my oh my god <laughs> so we're making bone broth with all the veggie scraps and um, like bones, like chicken bones and whatever leftover bone you have. So this is the bone broth that I started making yesterday. I put in um, chicken bones and also food scraps that I stored in the freezer, popped them all in and added some water. It's been slow cooking for about 12 hours now, maybe. It smells amazing. Like I haven't seen, seasoned it with anything, but it just smells incredible. It's full of collagen and natural oil so get yourself a slow cooker you won't regret it it's the best investment you can make it's so so good i've been using it so much since i bought it um i use i use it like two or three times a week at least and it's so easy you can just pop everything in and turn it on and just not worry about it until dinner time or lunch time if you're gonna make it the night before but yeah it's so good oh my god there's a fly in my house again there is no doors open okay i absolutely hate flies it bothers me so much Anyways, my stacks parcel finally arrived. Long story short, they made a mistake with my order, so I didn't get the top I wanted, but now it's here. It's been like two, three weeks, but it's finally here. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment, you guys. I hope they got it right this time. Wait, no, no way. Did they get it wrong again? No freaking way. Are you serious? How do they fucking... No way. Hello everybody. So I have an account on Instagram where I post photos of my outfits and um, it's one of my passions. I love clothes and um, taking photos aesthetically and posting it on Instagram. And I've collaborated with a few brands, but since starting TSW, I haven't been able to 
do that and like I wasn't confident enough to come in front of the camera and wear the clothes that I love. I hadn't been doing that for a good few months and I missed it so much. So today I decided to just just go for it. So I just took some photos um, with my outfits and it was really, really fun. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna upload it on my outfit Instagram and just talk a little bit about what I'm going through. And I had a few brands reach out to me before, but I had to, I turned them down because of TSW. I was afraid that um, they won't want to collaborate with me if they know that I'm, I look like this. I have a few of my real life friends on the outfit Instagram. So that was another thing that I was a bit afraid of for them to see that I look like this. But made me realize how TSW is affecting my daily lives and stopping me from doing what I love. I've got to learn to live with it and don't let it control me. Yeah, it's hard though, it's not easy, but... I posted a video on TikTok um, yesterday and it blew up. And I had so many people comment on it and it was really nice to see people's experiences and a lot of people commented really, really nice things and supportive comments. So yeah, it made me really happy. Yeah, so I really, really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. It means so much to me, really. I don't know, all my life, I kind of like saw like the strangers that I come across in the day-to-day -day life. I always thought, I just saw them as judgmental people. I don't know why. It was, I don't know, it was my stereotypical thinking, uh, but whenever I had eczema, like as a child, like people would look at me and I would just be so self-conscious and think that they were, they were judging me. So I just can't stop thinking that people judge you. But since sharing my experiences on social media, those strangers comment on my post and like, like messages me and they're so nice. They're so, so nice. And I was genuinely so surprised by how many people cared about me. And they were so supportive and it makes my heart so full. That's a, that's a big, that's a silver lining of me going through TSW. I have faith in people now. <laughs> Crazy to say this and like, I don't wish anyone to go through what i'm going through but i'm actually thankful having to go through this because i already learned so much for, from going through tsw and i can use my experience to help other people who may be going through it or who will be going through in the future especially kids I have a passion to help kids and their caregivers to provide them with um, resources and just have someone there that understand what they're going through. So I decided to go to uni to study that.